Good morning, students. Welcome to Standard Five English Class, Unit Five, The Food We Eat. A reading. Kiddos, will you please explain the meaning of this proverb shown on the screen? Read it first. Sound mind in sound body. Sound mind in sound body. This proverb insists that the mind and the body should be both healthy and sound. A healthy person can think normally and act instantly in any given situation. A sound body means a healthy body free from diseases and a sound mind means a mind capable of good positive and free thinking mind a healthy body is obtained by maintaining a good diet and good exercise to keep the body going and to keep a mind clean and healthy we should always have a positive thinking and honest attitude in life. So dear kids, make every attempt to keep your mind and body fit and healthy. Next. Kids, who is she? Who is she children? We saw and discussed about her in her previous class. Who is she? Yes, she is Dr. Aruna. Why did she come here? I mean to school to speak about a sound mind in a sound body. Right? Let's begin our lesson for today. A. Reading the food we eat. Let's see what did Aruna, Dr. Aruna, speak. Food is vital for our survival. Vital means necessary children, survival to live. Food is vital for our survival. From the time that we are babies, we need good food to grow strong. Good food has many qualities. Can you tell me what they are? Asked Dr. Aruna. Some children answered, it is natural. Others said, it is nutritious. Good, said Dr. Aruna. Balanced food is good because it gives your body all that it needs. Today, when there are so many different kinds of food, but all of them may not be healthy for us. Do we choose to eat food for its taste alone or the food that help us to be alert and have energy? She asked. Listen to the summary, children. Dr. Aruna has had made a speech on the food we eat. She said that food is necessary for all of us to live. From the time we were born, we need good food to grow strong. Good food has many good qualities, means features. Some of the children answered that good food is natural and nutritious. Dr. Aruna said, yes, that's true. Good and balanced food gives a body all that it needs, means requires it is tasty too. In present days, as there are many varieties of food and not all of them are healthy, she asks the children to be careful in choosing the food. She told that, that she told the children that they must choose to eat food 
that helps them to be alert means attentive and have energy next dr aruna continues good food is truly tasty because it has the flavor of the things that go in preparing into preparing it dr aruna continues good food is truly tasty because it has the flavor of the things that go into preparing it listen to the summary children dr aruna carried on with saying good food is really tasty as it has the tang means strong smell of the things that are used in preparing making it next in school we eat the hot and healthy food that is made for the noon meal or what we bring from home in government school children in government school they provide noon meals called as midday meals which is very healthy in schools like ours we carry our food from home next what do you eat in the afternoon soft idlis tasty dosas fragrant sambar rice spicy biryani eggs fruit how good they sound they are both mouth watering and healthy but we don't always eat healthy food she said listen to the summary children dr aruna told the children that the good food items such as soft idlis tasty dosas sweet smelling sambar rice spicy biryani eggs fruit etc are both mouth watering and healthy but we won't always eat them next unhealthy food is sometimes called junk food continued dr aruna such food has lots of sugar salt or additives and preservatives but very little that actually help you to grow she gave the name of a few common additives children kids first tell me what are additives and preservatives or what do you mean by additives and preservatives additives and preservatives are substances which are added in small amount to food in order to stop them from spoiling additives and preservatives are natural or artificial natural additives and preservatives are good for a health for example salt sugar and lemon etc natural artificial additives and preservatives are not good for our health for example artificial food coloring which are used in sweets and sodium nitrite it is used to preserve meat we should avoid using artificial additives and preservatives kids remember additives and preservatives are mainly added to a food to a food stuff to improve color flavor texture etc children now listen to the summary dr aruna went on with saying junk food is unhealthy junk food contains lots of sugar salt additives and preservatives which are not healthy next what makes us feel the need to eat food that is unhealthy one of the reason for this is hidden in the time that we watch television how much time do you spend watching tv she asked 3 hours many hands went up what programs do you watch she inquired she asked the children named a few 
how often do you see advertisements in the programs and pester your mother pester means trouble your mother to buy what you see they most chocolates chips soft drinks cakes and biscuits may not be very healthy to eat but the advertisements look very good and the summary is listen to the summary children dr aruna said we often watch the advertisement on tv and think that we should try to buy them all chocolates chips soft drinks cakes and biscuits are junk food we are very much interested in having the junk food though we know that they are not good to health we are tempted to buy them because these advertisements means ads look very attractive next there are advertisements that tell you that you will become a superhero if you have a particular drink some may show you your favorite film star or sports hero who is very happy having a soft drink though we all know that soft drinks are bad for health we feel like having them finally i leave it to you to have the food of your choice whether healthy or junk food which one do you prefer a packet of old chips stored in a shop for a long time in a colorful packet or the fresh chips that mother or granny makes dr aruna ended her speech the children clapped loudly children listen to the summary kids this is all because of watching advertisements right in which our favorite film star sports hero tells that he or she likes them dr aruna then said she will leave the choice to the children in selecting the food they eat healthy or junk food by saying so dr aruna ended a speech all the children clapped and thanked dr aruna kiddos i'll read this lesson once again listen attentively the food we eat food is vital for our survival from the time that we are babies we need good food to grow strong good food has many qualities can you tell me what they are asked dr aruna some children answered it is natural others said it is nutritious good said dr aruna balanced food is good because it gives your body all that it needs today when there are so many different kinds of food but all of them may not be healthy for us do we choose to eat food for its taste alone or the food that helps us to be alert and have energy she asked dr aruna continues good food is truly tasty because it has the flavor of the things that go into preparing it in school we eat the hot and healthy food that is made for the noon meal or what we bring from home what do you eat in the afternoon soft idlis tasty dosas fragrant sambar rice spicy biryani eggs fruit how good they sound they are both mouth watering and healthy but we don't always eat healthy food she said unhealthy food is sometimes called junk food continued dr aruna such food has lots of sugar salt or additives and preservatives but very little that actually helps you to grow 
she gave them the names of a few common additives what makes us feel the need to eat food that is unhealthy one of the reason for this is hidden in the time that we watch television how much time do you spend watching tv she asked three hours many hands went up what programs do you watch she inquired the children named a few how often do you see advertisements in these programs and pester your mother to buy what you see there most chocolates chips soft drinks cakes and biscuits may not be very healthy to eat but the advertisements look very good these advertisements sorry there are advertisements that tell you that you will become a superhero if you have a particular drink some may show you your favorite film star or sports hero who is very happy having a soft drink though we all know that soft drinks are bad for health we feel like having them finally i leave it to you to have the food of your choice whether healthy or junk food which one do you prefer a packet of old chips stored in a shop for a long time in a colorful packet or the fresh chips that mother or granny makes dr aruna ended a speech the children clapped loudly next glossary words and their meanings children repeat after me vital vital children it is an adjective the meaning of vital is necessary necessary vital necessary next one survival survival it's a noun children and the meaning is the state of continuing to live or exist survival the state of continuing to live or exist next nutritious it is an adjective children which means containing many of the substances which help the body to grow nutritious containing many of the substances which help the body to grow next fragrant fragrant it is an adjective children and the meaning is sweet smelling fragrant sweet smelling next mouth watering it is an adjective and the meaning is tempting to eat mouth watering tempting to eat mouth watering tempting to eat junk food it's a noun phrase children the meaning is unhealthy food junk food unhealthy food pester it's a verb children means trouble pester trouble pester trouble next one is additive it's a noun the meaning is things added to improve or preserve a food item additive things added to improve or preserve a food item next one preservative it is a noun meaning is something used to prevent food from from going bad it is from children something used to preserve prevent food from going bad next healthy habits children there are some healthy habits on the screen read along with me first one drink water drink water it's what you are made of drink water it's what you are made of next do your exercise do your exercise breathe fresh air breathe fresh air next go outside when the sun is out go outside when the sun is out next learn to relax R learn to relax next eat fruits eat fruits eat vegetables eat vegetables eat whole grains eat whole grains next get to bed on time get to bed on time kids make these healthy habits yours 
and be fit and fine. Kids, that's all for today. Eat clean and be happy. Eat clean and be happy. Thank you.